Hello and welcome everybody. This is my vlog on the future of my channel for basically I was initially saying sort of the next four or six months but in essence for the rest of this year until the start of 2013 I kind of want to give you guys an outline of what I want to be doing on my channel and also get you guys involved in shaping the kind of next round of content that I want to bring to this channel and while I have been heavily and always will be focused on the Total War series I would like to try and bring in a few other games that I personally play myself for you guys to watch and enjoy me do let's plays of and campaigns and what have you um, now I'm doing this because I always do get asked can I do this campaign, can I do that campaign, why don't you try out this campaign and most of the time I'm quite happy to oblige it and I, I try them out myself um, I, try out, I try it out myself if it's a mod or something like that and then I sort of go oh right, this could be a good campaign and then I bring it to you guys however at the moment I'm running three campaigns, I've just finished my Charles Carway campaign I was running four campaigns at once and four campaigns for me was probably um, the l maximum limit of what I ever wanted to do I'm probably a lot more happy at the moment doing three campaigns however I am bringing in one extra campaign starting next week which I'll talk about in a moment um, but that's a far more manageable campaign, it won't be as long but I'll get that to that in a moment but ideally I would the shape of things to come and the structure I'd like to have would be I'll still probably be doing four to five different kind of series a week as it were of different let's plays and games but I'd like to only two of them really be full on kind of total war campaigns because it it it's not that it gets boring but I would like a bit more variety personally to play and record for you guys and commentate uh, when I'm doing just four total war campaigns it is it's not a struggle but you know I just like a bit more variety I like a bit more difference to the channel itself and what I'm actually doing but in keeping with what personally my commentary style and what I like to do and I know I, I get everyday PMs and comments of you guys saying oh try out this game, try out this game, do a let's play of this, do a let's play of that and that is great because you know it does give me some basic idea and direction to kind of form up in my mind of what I want to do next but I'm going to give you guys a brief outline of what to expect in the next uh, well the rest of this year basically um, just so, not necessarily to kind of stop people messaging me saying, oh, can you do this campaign, can you do that, but just to give some clarification and to find out generally what you guys, if you guys lo would like this, basically. Um, because um, I'll say it again in a moment, but there's going to be a poll uh, link in this in the description of this video, and you can kind of, uh, you can vote there. I think, I'll, I don't know how many votes I can give each person, but if I can give multiple votes, then I will, but it might just be one vote per person. And in which case, I'd just like you guys to... Um, vote on the option which you would kind of most like to see from the list that I put up there in the poll um, first basically on my channel and it will just prioritise it, that may not be kind of the highest number of votes will win as it were but I just want to kind of see what popular opinion is and what m the majority of you would like to see because that will just kind of give a bit more focus and statistics to kind of go for but basically um, as I said, I've got three campaigns going at the moment, two Fall of the Samurai campaigns and a Napoleon Total War uh, Darth Maul Dutch campaign, which seems to be very popular. Um, next week I will be starting a uh, Let's Play campaign of Sins of Solar Empire Rebellion, and I'll be doing a TEC Loyalist uh, Let's Play on that. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I was actually gifted the game Sins of Solar Empire Re Rebellion by uh, a chap called Coconut on Steam, and he's one of my subscribers and he, he donated the game to me because he wanted me uh, to basically do a let's play of it and wanted me to try out the game and he was willing to do that uh, and I'll come on to kind of donating games to me for possible let's plays uh, later on in this vlog but um, I do, if you guys notice, have a donation link in all of my videos now in the kind of connect with me section and that is not uh, me begging for money because I don't, I don't need it um, as such but I can't basically afford to buy every game that you guys would love me to let's play. So if there is basically a game that you would love me to do a let's play of or something like that, then by all means contact me on Steam first, give me give me a heads up about it uh, and the possible ideas of it, and then let me know. And if you are willing to then donate or gift the game to me, then by all means I will try and fit it into my schedule. But obviously at the moment I am pretty swamped. But 
This is in reaction to that. I'll be doing a Sins of a Solar Empire Rebellion TEC Loyalist campaign. It's a, for those of you who don't know, it's a uh, real time strategy space simulator uh, sort of game. You build up huge fleets um, and have big old space battles. And I've currently been just been watch re watching even Battlestar Galactica. And my god, watching that and then playing this game, I'm literally sitting in my chair, sort of like, launch the alert fighters. It's, it's um, it's really sad but really cool at the same time when you're kind of that involved in the game and it, and it for, I find personally. And it's just it's just really enjoying to play um, and it's kind of right up my street. It's strategy, it's Space Age. One of the first ever strategy games I ever played was um, a Space Age strategy game called Imperium Galactica 2. If anybody has heard of that, I will... If I live in the UK or near you, I will try and... Like, I will visit you and ha give you a handshake because to, for me that was like one of the classic games I played in my childhood and I loved it. I loved that game. And this is a bit different to it. I had the original Sins of a Solar Empire, couldn't really get into it, found it a bit of a steep learning curve, that might just be me, you know, and it might actually be easy for everyone else. But I found it a bit difficult, there's a lot of menus and things I like to get used to, but I've really sunk myself into this, um, obviously because it was gifted to me, so I thought, well, I'm getting a free game here, I might as well actually commit to it and, and give it my give it 100%. And it is, it is a really fun game, and that's why I want, definitely want to do a Let's Play of it, and also thank Coconut again for donating that to me. But the main kind of thing I want to bring up, bring up is the content to expect and that I want to bring to this channel. Um, and that will start happening the moment my next campaign ends, which most likely, unless something terrible happens to one of the other campaigns, which will probably be the Nagaoka campaign. Now, I can't really give a set time on when that will finish. Um, I will try to do a f like more regular videos of that across the week, at least kind of, I should be doing three of them a week rather than at the moment, if I don't have enough time, I'm only doing one for the Samurai campaign part. But I will uh, definitely try and up that to at least three a week. And I'll also now and then be trying to be using the weekend slots as well when I can to record some extra footage. Um, and that won't be trying to rush through the game, but basically for this next kind of round of content to start happening, I want to cut down to two campaigns. Now, obviously the Sins of Zola Empire Rebelli Rebellion campaign will, will be starting. I'm going to be starting that next week and that will be on Tuesdays and Thursdays along with the Napoleon Total War um, Darth Mod campaign. I might, if I have time, start it this Sunday in fact, um, if I get a chance to, uh, or this weekend I might do the first part then and make it kind of maybe an hour long special to start to it. But um, yeah, basically that, that probably won't last too many parts, um, I'll probably be, I'll go through the settings when I actually set it up, but that'll probably be against two AI opponents um, probably on, on easy because even on easy I found it a right, uh, a right pain in the ass to try and win but hopefully it'll be enjoyable for you guys anyway um, but it'll be something different but it, uh, it shouldn't be more than probably about 10-12 parts something like that so it won't be a particularly long campaign so it'll be finished um, probably first week or so of August um, depending on how often I can upload stuff for it um, so when that happens I'll be down to three campaigns again and then I'll be then I'll be bringing in possibly not a new campaign but some online battles or something like that but I'll talk about that in a moment but the main change is going to become when I finish the Naga Oak campaign when I will officially be down to just two campaigns the Sendai campaign and the Napoleon Total War Dutch um, campaign and then I'll just carry on I want to do just two main campaigns but I want to fill in with one of these other options or perhaps a combination of two or so, and gradually bring them in. And uh, right, this is when I was talking about the poll. In the description, if you go uh, to the description now, and there's a link in there, please do click it. It will take you to a poll site, website, which I've briefly set up. And um, that poll last. I'll probably just leave it going. It won't cut out at any point. So, um, and as far as I know, I think I've, it's just limited to one vote. If I could put multiple votes on, I will. Like probably be two or three, but if, it may just be one vote. But basically, I'd like you to vote for what you'd like to see next from this following list of um, kind of content I want to bring to the channel, uh, and that includes um, a Rome Total War campaign. I'd like to do a Roman faction campaign, and I'm looking into a couple of mods at the moment, including Roma Serectum 2, I think it is. I'm trying to get that to work with my Steam copy of the Rome Total War Gold Edition, having a few problems there. But um, I'm looking possibly to doing one with that. That's a very good mod. Um, or just a vanilla um, a vanilla campaign anyway, I'm not sure, because the game seems pretty stable 
there, um, but there'll be a separate kind of vote for that at a later point. But just let, if that's your thing, let me know. Um, then quite a broad one, but online battles across the Total War games, and I would actually like to go back and do some Empire um, online battles, and if I'm getting Rome working again, I'd, I'd consider doing some Rome online battles as well. Um, so I'd literally do Rome, Empire, um, Napoleon, Shogun, Fall of the Samurai, and if, if I guess I can include Medieval 2 in there, because I've got that as well. Um, so I would like to kind of bring across online battles and keep them as a weekend thing, um, so or, or possibly kind of a midweek thing. My upload schedule will change uh, in a few weeks, and I'll make a brand new upload schedule um, timetable video uh, probably the second week of August when I've definitely got the next round of content set up. Um, so yeah, online battles. Uh, let me know if that's your thing, uh, and then looking at creating more Mountain Blade Warband um, content, either more Napoleonic Wars footage. Unfortunately at the moment the, the main line battles are on Sundays, but I think there's one on Saturdays as well. Um, but across the weekend is normally the time when I, I spend uh, time with my girlfriend, so I'm normally not on to fight those line battles and record them. Pardon me. Um, but I will try and make some in the week if I can. Um, or I'm, if you guys would like it, I can just go on a public server and just like play for 30 minutes and just get some shots and things like that. Or I can continue with the warband campaign I started a while back, or start a brand new campaign, either vanilla warband again, but actually continue with it this time, or with a mod for Mountain Blade warband. Um, I'd also consider doing a third age campaign for Medieval Two Kingdoms, that's a Lord of the Rings mod. Um, I've had it for a while, I've been playing it for years in fact, and I love it. Uh, and I really probably should have done a campaign on it, but let's play, before now, but it, I've never got round to it. Um, so that's a possibility as well. Um, also, some Guild Wars 2 um, sort of random videos, I don't know, the odd quest or raid or, or whatever it'll be, PvP action, just doing, if I do, lots of impressive kills, a montage even. Um, I was a massive fan of the first Guild Wars, it took many, many of my hours, and uh, I've already pre-ordered my copy of Guild Wars 2, I've had it pre-ordered for ages now, and that comes out on the 28th of August, I believe, so... From then, I might actually announce on my channel that I might be taking a week off from recording, so I just want to sink my life into um, Guild Wars 2. Um, but yeah, if, if random kind of some quest videos, something like that, um, Guild Wars 2 content, I'll be looking to do some stuff on that. And then finally, sort of possibly looking to continue the Batman Arkham City Let's Play. Um, this, if anything, if I can get multiple votes, I would definitely ask people to use one of their multiple vo votes if it works on the poll. It might just be one vote, if, but if you feel passionately about this type of thing, then please put your vote towards the Batman Let's Play if you would like to see it continue. I might restart it anyway because I know I had some audio issues, so I might just restart it anyway, but I would definitely like to continue with it um, if there's enough kind of um, public interest, for, interest from you guys. Um, but if not, then then I'll, I'll leave it, it'll be scrapped, we can come back to it maybe even later, maybe next year, something like that. But, you know, just let me know if that's the kind of thing. If you vote for something else on the poll, but want the Batman one as well, and I can't put multiple things, uh, multiple votes up, then let me know in the comments. Like, literally, once you vote on the poll, perhaps even come back and then post your vote as a comment, if you want to, if you want to share that, say, I voted for this, but I'd also like to see this. So, if you can't do multiple votes, because I don't know, I haven't set up the poll, but um, if, you, um, if you can't do multiple votes, then by all means come back and say, I voted for this, like the Rome Total War campaign is my main vote, but I would love to see you do a third age campaign, some Guild Wars 2, and you know, return to online battles. And um, that will just kind of, you know, of those I can whittle down perhaps some options that aren't so popular, put them on the back bench for now, and come back to them at a later date. And then finally, there it will be a box on the poll for other games, so if you think I should go completely away from my comfort zone and look at something completely different. Um, I did recently buy on the Steam sale because I had a couple of people on Steam telling me and my one of my housemates for next year telling me I should buy Left 4 Dead 2 and apparently a lot of people seem to think that's quite a good game to let's play or, or, or do some some co-op uh, survival stuff on that so that's a possibility. But there'll be another games box um, and this obviously is another one you could probably do a comment about if not as well or send me a PM as well. Um, and in other games, this is basically when it comes into play that if I do have, if I do own another game, like say for let's, for instance, let's Left 4 Dead 2, because the Steam sales going on right now, 
um, and you would love for me to do a let's play of that or some footage or whatever, then do let me know in the comments of this video or PM me about it, but comments would definitely be helpful. Uh, and definitely clicking on that uh, that vote link on the poll. Um, but, realistically, if I don't own the game, I can't buy every single game people want me to do. So, um, if there is enough kind of... There's two ways this can kind of be resolved. If enough people kind of message me or... Um, I don't know, I would love for people to actually start even creating some video responses to some of my videos. So if someone made, perhaps even made a video response vlog to this telling me what they would like, I'd be really impressed and I'd really enjoy seeing that. Um, but, yeah, perhaps people making a, uh, um, a response to this or making a video and then PMing me the video to tell me what they would like me to do as in, ter in terms of other games or saying, um, Hi Lionheart, I'm doing this vlog here, I've got 30 of my friends, 40 of my friends, so all your subscribers we would love for you to do this game as a let's play or whatever. Um, if there's enough kind of pop popular support and interest in a game, then I will look to see if I can buy it. However, as I've said, I can't realistically buy every single game. Um, so, that I have to talk about donations in, in terms of that, because obviously my next campaign that I'll be starting on here is a donated game, Sins of a Solar Empire Rebellion by Coconut. And while I definitely do not want to beg for people to do buy me games, um, because I, I don't want that at all. If you do really want to, I have had people give me games in the past, and you know what, that is absolutely brilliant. I, I love that. It, it really means a lot that you've enjoyed my videos that much to want to give me something for just making, hopefully, some entertaining videos for you weekly. Um, but to, if you feel like that, that you would like to donate me a game to Let's Play, um, or you'd like to donate me a game and say, look, no, you don't, have, no, don't pay me or whatever, don't, don't give me a shout out, anything like that. Um, that's fine. But, but by all means, say, hey, Lionheart, I'm donating you this game. Please could you give me a shout out? Please do this. And could you perhaps think about doing a let's play in the next few weeks of this game? Then by, I will really consider it and most definitely uh, do a let's play of it at some point in, in sort of the next few weeks after you do it. Um, because you've just given me, in most cases, a substantial amount of uh, money in the form of a game for free. Um, so I definitely will repay that by doing a Let's Play of your favourite game or whatever. Um, so if you want to donate, please, by all means do, but before you do, don't just suddenly spring it on me. Um, contact me on Steam, PM me here on YouTube, and just, just, just say this is what you'd like to do. You know, maybe you and a few mates chipping in, getting this game. Um, perhaps I could get it too, or something like that, or perhaps I could chip in, donate it for me. Just, you know what, th things like that. If there's another, any other games that I haven't mentioned that you would like me to seriously consider looking at, then do let me know, or if you're prepared to donate it and be incredibly generous, then again, please do contact me, because I would be very interested. Um, also, I'm just going to one reminder about kind of how campaign voting works on my channel. I know this won't necessarily stop people doing it, and I don't particularly want to stop people doing it, but some people get a bit confused and they go, oh, why do you do it like that? When they say, oh, could you please do this campaign uh, next on Empire Total War or, or M on Napoleon or Shogun? And I say, oh, generally my, my response is pretty kind of, um, <laughs> uh, it's quite a sort of a politician's response. I don't give a, a direct answer. I normally go, I'll bear your, your suggestion in mind for the next campaign. But basically the way... I choose my next campaign is always up to you guys through uh, a vote, either through a poll or you guys submitting the, the most comments in with that faction's name or thumbs up or something like that. So it's generally down to poll vo voting, the most popular one will win, um, but if you su um, suggest a certain um, campaign to Let's Play as, uh, then I will most definitely include that in the poll vote, vo uh, the poll vote, uh, ah, I can't even speak, the poll voting um, site, as it were, I'll definitely include that as one of the options to vote for. So, by all means, continue sending in those PMs because it does, again, it lets me know what you guys would like to see. And if I get enough of the same factions being requested, then I know, right, this is a faction I should definitely do. Um, like with the Sendai campaign, I started that purely because 
uh, for, for two re well for two reasons really. One, I had loads of you guys saying, oh, when are we going to see a Sendai campaign? When are we going to see a Sendai campaign? And two, because nobody else was doing a single-player Sendai campaign at the time. So I was the first person on YouTube that I know of anyway. I searched for it. There were people doing a co-op campaign. One of them was playing a Sendai. But I was the first person to do, as far as I know, a single-player Fall of the Samurai campaign as the Sendai clan. So that's obviously um, important to me if I can to get be the first person to create a Let's Play with a certain faction. So, I hope you guys have got the gist of what I've, trying to, uh, what I've tried to say within this um, this vlog, and I've gone on for a while, but there has been a lot to cover, and I definitely um, wanted to let you guys know about what I'm considering for this channel. So, please do go to that poll link um, and give a vote. As I said, don't know if it will be multiple votes or just single. If it is uh, multiple, then by all means, do your top three or whatever it is. Um, if it's just one, then make your vote and then by all means come back to this video and make a comment saying I voted for Total War Campaign on Rome but I would love to see you do some Guild Wars 2 footage and continue the Batman Let's Play. So, hope you guys got the gist. Please do remember to do comment, rate, subscribe, please do thumb up this video and also if you've also got time and you watch the Rome 2 live show that I did the, the other day let me know um, what you liked about it. Um, I've now got it fixed so that my giveaway site will not be hacked next time. The password has been changed and made far more difficult. So whoever the lovely person was that decided it would be great to ruin everybody's fun um, and stop me trying to give away a free game, which I managed to do in the end, um, please, I don't know, I, I'd love them to own up and just be like, why? Because it's just pathetic, really. But you know what, um, we've stopped, hopefully, annoying people like that, doing that again because that was a right pain in the ass. Um, so yeah, please just give a little bit of feedback about what you liked about it and perhaps even suggest topics for the next live show which will most likely be in just under two months time. Um, or it might be more about a month's time or so, I'll, I'll see. Between a month and two months time for the next live show. But yeah, as always, hope you enjoyed, comment, rate, subscribe, thumb up this video, do check out my other campaign parts and tomorrow you will see some Napoleon Total War Dutch campaign. Um, it'll probably be a longer part than usual because it'll only be that tomorrow. Um, so yeah, ciao for now guys. See you guys again soon.